Welcome to the live stream. Tonight's session will be focused on Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. Hopefully we'll be able to find a table. The community at Mahjong time is pretty small, as you can see, there's only two tables. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to find some players for tonight. If you have an account at Mahjong time, come and play. If you're watching the repost, thanks for watching. There are links below the video that you might find interesting. There's some tutorials there, and then also there's a link so that you could come and register at Mahjong Time and check it out. For the time being, I have some VIP coupon codes for 30 days. Uh, you can come and check it out. If you're interested in that, go to my Facebook page, Mahjong Central, and send me a private message with your email address, and I will send you that code so you can come and check it out. We are live. Welcome to the live stream. Carrie and Elizabeth, hello. Say hi in chat, let's see if it works. Can you guys hear me okay? I have this microphone here, a blue microphone, and the last live stream, it wasn't very loud at all. And um, so we're trying to figure out how to improve sound. Can you hear me okay? Say uh, something in chat so I know you can hear me. Okay, excellent. Well, we're going to, let's go ahead and join this table and see if we can get some more interested players. Uh, let's see, so Carrie and Elizabeth, we have, hi Jan. Okay, so this will be your first reach. That was gonna be my next question is, do you know about reach? Or what do you know, I guess I should say? Are you a beginner? Um, or would you consider yourself to be intermediate? Or have you uh, just had an interest in this is your first experience with it? Let me know so I, I know how deep to go with my commentary. Okay, Carrie says she knows nothing. Elizabeth, I think you've been to my Reach live streams before, so you're probably a beginner like me. Uh, let's see, nothing at all. Okay, Jan knows nothing. So um, let's see, hi there. You're okay, N Nina, thank you. Um, so I've been playing Reach probably for uh, since, oh my goodness, when did I learn Reach? Probably in maybe um, 2000 and 10 maybe so I've been playing for several years but online I think I've played in person half a dozen times so everything I've learned has either been playing online or just through reading and you know what just like you can't read a book about skiing you can't really do it until you're on those slopes well same thing with reach you can read about it um, but until you play with people whether online or at a live table um, it's a different game. So I am still learning. Uh, I know the basics and that's why I do these live streams to try to uh, share about the style because it really is a lot of fun. It's very complex, very strategic. Um, so if anybody out there is a, a structured kind of thinker, uh, this is a great game for you. Um, let's see. So the, the scoring is easy i think um i mean i haven't memorized it but as far as the yaku the yaku are the scoring elements so you can download a quick reference that i have under the video description if you want to follow along i'm going to be reading from the player reference um, if i get stuck with my own memory i think i have all the scoring elements memorized but every now and again i need to look at that uh, player reference um, so I just noticed that I don't have it here with me, so I need to go grab it. Let's just check on the chat real quick. Anytime I look to the side, it's because I'm looking at chat. Let's see. Uh, Carrie says she's not going to say. You just wanted to check it out. Okay, well, you can watch the repost. This will be uh, published on my YouTube channel after the stream. So you can always watch it after the fact. Let's see. Elizabeth says just hanging out for this one only... Oh, you only like American style. Okay, got it. Well, welcome. I hope you enjoy watching Reach. It is different. It's very different. Uh, Nina this, she says that this is her first time watching. Um, oh, and you watched the National Mahjong League videos. All right. So 
Okay, we'll see you later, Carrie. Thanks for coming by. All right, I'm going to go get my quick reference. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the quick reference. Let's see here, there we go. That's some of the scoring, and there's a little bit more scoring. There's also some definitions there. And then on the inside here, this is the Yaku table. These are all the scoring elements. I have it broken out by category, and a lot of these scoring elements are stackable. So you could, for example, have all pwn, all three of a kind, a pwn is a three of a kind. So you could have all pwn and a half flush. So you could have all pwn and cracks with maybe a pwn of dragons. That would be two yaku. So the scoring can stack. Some There are some exceptions and those are all written on here. So if you want to learn how to score and learn how to play, you're gonna need to know the yaku. So download that quick reference and check that out. There's also a link down there for a strategy primer that starts with fundamentals and it does have some initial strategies some um, simple strategies uh, and some complex weights as well and weights are where you're waiting on a set to complete your hand so that is a really great primer it, it's free to download right now it's in pdf format so look for that link it's by dana chiba and I found it very helpful, and I am focused on a few things right now with my, the way I play. So let me check um, chat real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, okay, she was just saying goodbye. Hold on one second. Okay, so Japanese Mahjong, since we're waiting for players, I'm gonna explain. Um, kind of in a nutshell about Japanese Mahjong. It's fairly new. I'm not exactly sure when this style was created. I think it's um, newer than most styles. So as you know, Mahjong's been around since the 1880s. And um, as the game migrated throughout the world, every region that it came into developed their own version. And that's, you know, the case when the game went to Japan. So I don't know when the, the actual Ricci um, game was developed and who developed it. That I do not know. I should probably find out. And when I watch this repost, I will make note of it and figure it all out. Nonetheless, it's based on the standard Cantonese style. So it's a 13 tile game. The 14th tile makes your winning hand. The hand is made up of components. Uh, the components are four sets and a pair. The sets can be either three in a sequence, which is called a chi, C-H-I-I, -I, or three of a kind, which is called a pon, P-O-N, pon. And then you can have four of a kind because there's four of every tile. And that is called a con, K-A-N. So we have a chi, a pon, and a con. You need to have four sets in a pair and it could be whatever you want like if you're familiar with American style you have to play on a card and there are preset uh, combinations that you have to play in the end I think there's maybe 50 on any given year and that card is published every year with different combinations but it's limited to about 50 hands for Japanese Mahjong and most other Asian versions you have a lot more flexibility you have all the tiles to work with and you can pick and choose. It's kind of a la carte, really. You can pick and choose the scoring elements based on the tiles that you get, your skill level, the skill level of the players at your table, um, what happens at the table, because that can change your strategy for any given hand. So there's a lot of flexibility, but I think that there's a lot more strategy involved. Every style of Mahjong involves a little luck and a lot of strategy in varying degrees by style. So I think, in my opinion, Japanese style is the most sophisticated. It's the most um, 
uh, I think, uh, strategic as well, which is one reason, or those are two reasons why I like playing it so much. This, I think, is probably my favorite version to play. Unfortunately, I don't get to play live right now. I'm trying to start a group. So if you live in the Atlanta area, or North, at, North Atlanta, North Georgia, I have a meetup called Agari. I'm trying to find players. So right now it's just me and you can play solitaire by yourself, but still it doesn't compare with playing with other people because everybody has their own style. And when I play solitaire, since I'm playing for four players, I'm playing my style of play. But when you mix other people in who play in kind of different ways, um, they all have their own nuance on the game, their own approach um, with strategy. So it brings a different dynamic to the game. So playing solitaire, it, it, you know, that's uh, a good way to practice, but playing with people is really the best way to improve your game. All right, so let me check out some questions here. Um, Hanasu asks, Reach is about the same age as National Mahjong League. Okay, so 1936. 1936 is when the National Mahjong League was uh, established. So Hanasu, is that is that about right then, 1936? Jan asks, do you have jokers or flowers? No, neither. No jokers, no flowers. Um, and the reason is uh, Ricci was developed to remove as much luck out of the game as possible so that it's highly strategic. Now, there is something called Dora, which is a special tile. It's not a wild card. It is a special tile that if that particular tile is in your hand and you win, you get extra score for that. But it requires strategy in order to include it in your, in your plan as you're playing the game. And as you pick and discard, as things are being exposed by other players, as tiles are being discarded, you may or may not end up wanting to use that special tile. So um, the, I think the only element of luck in Reach, Reachy that I, I would say is probably Condora or Uradora. And that, those are the tiles underneath the door indicators. And when we play a game, I'll, I'll explain that. Only players who are concealed qualify for Uradora. As a matter of fact, it might just be reach players. Hold on one second. Yeah, it's only players who have declared reach. Reachy, uh, the namesake, is when a player is ready to win and they declare it by placing a wager on the table, a thousand points. They put out a, a tenbo, which is a payment stick of a thousand points, and they say, Reachy, and that is a declaration that they are ready to win. Their hand is locked. They cannot change their hand. The game continues. They're basically betting that they are going to win. If they do win, they are able to look under the Dora indicator tiles, and if those particular Dora tiles are in their hand and they win, they get extra score for that. To me, that's pure luck because you have no idea what those tiles are. And it's just basically luck if you happen to have them in your hand. Otherwise, the luck of the game has been removed, I think, beside Uradora. So anybody who plays Ricci, let me know if there's any other luck involved. Some people think that drawing is luck, but I disagree with that because the drawing is actually chance. There's a difference between chance and luck. Um, I think that when you draw, when when you take a chance at drawing, because sometimes you can claim a discard instead. So you either claim a discard or chance your drawing, and and you know hope that that w is a better decision. You draw, and then what? How you use that tile is to me skill, not luck. So let me know what y'all think about that. Okay, let me see here. So Hanasu says around then, maybe a bit before. Okay, well, that's interesting. I'm definitely going to see if I can find that documented somewhere. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Uradora and Ipatsu are the big luck factors. Okay, so Ipatsu, um, it, most people who watch my videos are new to either a, a particular style or, or Mahjong as a whole. So I try not to use... Um, 
terminology, um, for example, ipatsu, like um, I even have to refer to it. So I try to use the English words with the, ja the uh, Ricci terms so that people can get used to it from an American approach. Um, because my audience is American, um, like 95% probably, um, and also mostly new players. So ipatsu, let me see here if I can find it. I don't even know what ipatsu is um, for the Ricci term. Ipatsu, is that um, winning ipatsu one shot? Okay, ipatsu is also called one shot in American or English. And that's when you declare that you're ready to win. You say Ricci. And if you win, um, by the time that the, it's your turn again and nobody does any exposures and you win sometime during that round of picks, then that is called one shot and you get extra score for that. And so um, Hanasu is saying that that's luck. And I, I would agree with that too. So let's see here. Um, Maureen says, interesting, looking forward to seeing you play. All right, and let's hope it goes well. Um, I either do really well or I tank. I mean, I just, I, I do, I get my fanny kicked. Um, it really just depends. Um, but uh, there are some times when I get stuck. Like for me, when I get stuck is when I'm playing all cheese, which is called pinfu, and I pair up. I'm tempted to switch to all pone, which is all three of a kind. So when I pair up cheese, you know, potential cheese to a point where I could maybe turn it to all pone, which is called toy toy, that's where I get stuck with the decision. Okay, so here we go. Four sets in a pair. That's what we're going to try to do. We're going to go ahead and play a game and let's see what happens. Later, I want to talk about the different the focuses that that I'm personally focused on. So for me, uh, for this particular um, hand over here, you can see the Dora indicator. Okay, I am the dealer, so I, I'm going to start by discarding a North, and then I'll I'll explain more. So six crack is the Dora indicator. The next tile up in order is Dora, which is a special tile. If it is in your hand, you get special score for that if you win. So for the tiles that I have, I primarily have numbered tiles. I only had three honors, which are wins and dragons. Since I had all numbered tiles with just a few honors, I'm going to play all cheese. And it, I actually have a lot of chi potential in here. So that's what I'm going to focus on. So I'm going to get rid of all my wins and dragons, and I'm going to focus on number tiles only for pinfu, which is all cheese, all three in a sequence. So what you want to do is you want to block it out and try to figure out um, where your strengths and weaknesses are and improve your the shape of your hand. So for example, this nine crack is probably going to be my next discard because it's isolated. I can do nothing with it unless I pair get a pair eventually. So um, the five bam also is isolated. Uh, incidentally, this hand is concealed, pinfu. So I have to draw it all myself until I'm ready to win. And then I can call a, a discard for uh, Mahjong with one exception. Um, so as you, as you can see here in my cracks, I have a one, two, three. So there's a chi right there. Um, I also have a four, six, so that's a potential chi. Okay, now I'm not gonna claim that for a three in a sequence because I wanna stay concealed. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the five bam. We got a five, so now we have two cheese. So we have a one, two, three, and here's a four, five, six. This nine crack is probably gonna be the next tile that I discard because it's isolated. I would need a seven or an eight crack in order to use it. So let's see what I get and then I'll continue to explain. So we're gonna pass on that. Okay, we got a four. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the nine crack. So this four may or may not come in handy, I don't know. I have a one three, which is a potential chi, or here's a three four. That is also a potential chi, and then we have a pair or a potential chi with the six seven. So once you kind of get a lay of the land and figure that out, then you want to um, improve the shape. And that would be looking at each set or block and, and look at the strength of that block and try to improve it with each pick. 
and you want to do that before anybody else wins. So it's a, it's a game. It's a time. It's um it's a race basically. Okay, so we we don't have any bams. There are also two out. So um, you want to improve the shape of your hand, and then you want to watch what is being discarded or exposed that can help you make your decisions along the way. Um, by the way, Japanese mahjong is also a faster paced game. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm actually thinking of maybe, depending on what happens here, uh, we're already at, at 10 discards, so I probably won't do it this time. But there is a, 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 a yaku called Tanya, which is all simples. I could get rid of the ones here and have only tiles two through eight, which is another yaku. But we, we're already, okay, so I'm going to get rid of the one. All right, so um, one thing I wanted to share are, are weights. This is one of the things that I've been working on. Um, there are different weights for each set, and some are weak, some are strong. So let's draw, and then I'll, oh, okay, there's a pwn. And you can see here the tile is turned. That indicates the player who threw it. So that indicates that that turned tile is the player to their right. So we're going to pass on that. We got a four, so now we're starting to get a bunch of, I'm going to discard the three. So this is where I start getting stuck because now look at all these pairs. I have I have four pair right now. The four crack, four dot, six dot, seven dot. I could turn this now to pones. So now they just declared reach, which means they're ready to win. I probably will be switching to defense at this point because I have a mixture of cheap, I'm gonna pass. I have a mixture of cheap potential and a mixture of, I already threw a three, I'm gonna throw it. Um, so I already have a mixture. I have a mixture. Oh shoot, that was their win. I thought that would have been safe. I should have looked a little more closely at their discards. When anybody reaches, um, if you look at their discard pile, any of those tiles are safe. And if you discard them, they cannot win if, on a tile that they already discarded. That's one of the strategic elements for Japanese mahjong. So I really should have looked a little more closely at that, but I was talking. I don't, I don't remember if I had any tiles. I should have thrown a tile that they already discarded, but I was talking. So anyway, in a nutshell, that explained everything. I know I went really fast, but I was trying to explain as the game progressed. So all those are sort of the fundamentals. And of course, there's much more to the game than that. So the first thing I do is I look at Dora, uh, the Dora indicators. So seven dot is Dora. I do have the, the suit for that Dora tile. I have dots. So in essence, if I, if I get a six dot, for example, I may be able to make a chi using the, the Dora tile. So I'm kind of thinking, depending on this pick, I'm kind of thinking of playing either half flesh, which is called han, hanitsu or honitsu. I'm not sure if I pronounce that correctly, but um, either that or there's a hand called pure, uh, let's see, mixed triple chi. Um, I think that's called sanshoku. Sanshoku. Oh, we got a pair of Norse. Um, so um, mixed triple chi is where you have the same sequence in three suits. And as you see here, I have a one, two, three in dots. I have a two, three in bams and a two crack. So if I get the crack suit with another chi tile, I might actually play. Uh, I, I'm not going to take that yet. Uh, let's see, four crack, two, three, four. I'm not going to take that. So I'm thinking probably half flesh with a potential for mixed triple chi uh, here. So uh, here I have a one, two, three chi, or I have a pair of threes that I could turn to a pwn. Um, okay, we're not gonna take that. A five bam, no. I wanna focus on dots. So I have a one, two, three, and a three, four, five. I mean, technically I have two chis, two completed chis, but I can break those up a little bit and turn them into three opportunities. So for example, I could do a one, two as a potential three. The three dots could be a, oh, okay, I'm gonna throw the south. We got the one. We could play maybe this mixed triple chi. So mixed triple chi with a pwn of north winds. And that is my seat wind. So that is, I could get score for that. 
if you are seated, whatever seat you're in, if you get, okay, there's a three dot now. Let's see here. We have four discards if I play half flesh. If I play, let's see here. Two bamboos. It's six, one half dozen, the other really. I'm gonna get rid of the nine. Okay, so we'll see. There are two one bams out. There are two one cracks out. I have a one crack. There's one three crack out. So we'll see, this, this is viable. We'll get rid of that. Okay, Nina, uh, which do you have? 1,600 when two other winners have zero. Why do I have? Well, right now I have minus 1,300 uh, because I, I threw the winning tile, so I pay for the table. Whoever throws the winning tile pays for the table. Okay, so I'm thinking pure uh, mixed triple chi or uh, Sanshoku, I think is what it's called. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Let's see what happens. Okay, no, we've are, we're already set with that really. I have a one, two, three in dots, a pair of threes. I'd like to pwn this north because I could get score for that. Even though this would only be a two Yaku or two Han hand, it's pretty low scoring. Uh, anytime you have cheese, you're typically looking at a lower scoring hand, but they do stack, especially if you're able to get Dora. There's a one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna discard the four. I almost threw away that, not that north. Okay, so we have our, our second chi here. We have a one, two, three, one, two, three, and we have a pair of threes. I'm, I'm hoping to pwn the north and then we could be ready on a three crack. Or we could maybe draw or claim a discard for that. Oh, somebody, oops, somebody won. So Roan means that they won by discard. So the player uh, South threw it, and that was a, a three, three fawn hand. They had a mixed triple chi, that's what they were going for too. They have all simples, which are two through eight, and they had uh, Dora. So that's what they won with. So since I did not throw the winning tile, I did not get uh, any more negative score. So right now I'm in third place. And you wanna keep track of that because your goal is to not be in fourth place at the end of a game, which I do often, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, so you see here I have only one honor, uh, a green dragon. So I'm gonna play all cheese. See all these uh, number tiles? I have only one pair, so there's a lot of chi potential in here. So I'm gonna play Pinfu again. So Pinfu, okay, that is concealed, so I'm not gonna claim that. I want all numbered tiles, okay? Now I, I have two pair. Hopefully I can split those out into separate cheese if I get a five dot or a two dot, for example. Um, but I wanna explain another couple things about Pinfu because it sounds like it would be really easy, but it's actually not, in my opinion. I mean, it's probably one of the simpler hands, but it requires planning because you cannot have a valued pair. Um, there, there's a um, something called a foo table. The foo table is uh, also called mini points. So if you score less than five Han, you have to count mini points or you have to count your score using the foo table. On that foo table, there are, um, it, it kind of breaks out the different components of your, of your hand and you get score maybe for some of those components. One of the components is a pair of dragons or a pair of your seat wind or a pair of the wind of the round. In this case, the wind of the round is east and I'm in, okay, we have another pair here. I'm gonna get rid of the three bam. So now we're in the same situation. We have th uh, three pair. So potentially I could switch to all pwn, all three of a kind. Uh, we're heading into the sixth discard. I do have some really good chi potential in here. Um, all right, so you can't have a valued pair. So no dra no pairs of dragons, no pair of your seat wind, no pair of the wind of the round. Uh, so I can't have a pair of norths, for example, because that could bring me score. Okay, this is concealed. We're not taking that. If Okay, I'm going to discard that. That's isolated, and that is the seventh discard. One guideline that a friend of mine uh, shared with me, her name is Nicole from the Netherlands. She shared that 
so. you should have a goal of re, um, being ready to win in six discards. And uh, I try to achieve that. That is um, being ready to win is called 10 pi. So you want to try to be ready to win or 10 pi in six discards. You know, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, nobody, nobody got it. So I, I don't think it's, it's uh, is as common as one might want it to be, but it's a, it's a good goal and I try to a achieve that. So anyway, um, as you're playing Pinfu, you also need to be um, planning your, your blocks of tiles, your, your separate cheese, because you need four cheese in a pair. And the cheese, in the end, you have to have, you have to be waiting on a chi with a side weight. A side weight, okay, there's a pawn now. I, I'm going to get rid of the six. Now I have a pawn in here. I'm going to switch to all pawn. So a side weight would be, for example, this three, four. I need either a two crack or a five crack to win. So, or if, if, let's say I were playing uh, pin foo and I was ready to win, I would need a two crack or a five crack. So that would be a side weight. So I would need to play it out to make sure that I have a side weight in order to win. So that's one reason why I think it's, it's um, difficult. I'm not going to take that because I want to I wanna try to reach. I want to try to do pones and reach if I can. I need another pair though. So I hope that makes sense. Um, it's all written down in the uh, player reference. I'm going to start getting rid of these cracks. Maybe I could even draw enough dots to play Chinitsu, which is one suit. I, I have a lot of discards, so it's kind of a stretch, but we'll see. Um, so I hope that makes sense with Pinfu. It is all cheese, all three in a sequence, but there are some complexities with it. So let's see if we can get some more dots. Oh, I'm going to pass. You know what? Maybe I could... Okay, there's a dot. Maybe maybe I should have taken that for... There's one more eight dot. Because I could have taken that and just switched to Chinitsu and play all cheese and pones in dots. Let's see. One, two, three, three, four. I'll pwn it. So much for staying concealed. Only players who stay concealed can declare reach or reachy. So right now I'm not, I'm no longer qualified to reachy, but I am going to play Chinitsu, which is too fun, too fun. I believe Chinitsu is too fun. Oh, wait, a full flush is five fun. Ooh, that's Mangan. That's good. But we're kind of late in the game, so I don't, I'm not sure if it's going to happen, but look, we're almost cleared. We have a pwn here. We have a pair. We could pwn. Yeah, we have a little bit of work to do, but it, I mean, it's viable. We, I have three more picks. Let's see what happens. I want to try to get to 10 pi, which is ready. If I can draw more dots, there's a dot. Okay, so let's see. I don't think I can be ready to win. I think I have two, this, I have two singles that, that are, okay, I'm going to pwn that. And let's see, seven dot one, one dot. Okay, so I'm ready to win. I reached 10 pi by the end of the game. There it is, Roan with Chinitsu. I got a Mangan. Mangan is five Han. Oh, I got more. What else did I, oh, I, I didn't even plan that out. I got all simple. So that was kind of an accident. And I did end up with all Pwn. So that stacked really nicely. So that, I guess that, that is an example of how you can stack Yaku. So there was a full flush, all pwn, and all simples, no ones and nines, which I did not plan out the all simples thing. It just kind of happened organically. Oh, hi, Elizabeth. Okay, so that was a, a really great example. I'm glad I got to show you a win. All right, now I only have two honors here, so I'm going to get rid of those and go again for Pinfu. So I'm going to get rid of all the winds and dragons. Dora is seven dot. I have two Dora. I need to win at all costs because I have two Dora. I am going to try to win at all costs right now. I mean, I do try that for every hand, but sometimes I get a little greedy when I play and I try to get more Yaku, but I'm going to take the quickest win possible. So I'm going to try for Pinfu with the lowest, I'm going to try to get 
I'm going to try to um, reach in six discards. That's what I'm going to try to do. But this is scary. Already there's two exposures. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the one. So here we have seven, eight, nine is a chi. Five, six, seven is a chi. There's two chi's right there. I have a pair and a potential chi. So that's one, two, uh, three, four. I need one more. I need I need a pair or another potential chi. Okay, five bam. I'm gonna get rid of the one dot. One dot. Okay, so we need one one more potential chi in here, and we'll be good to go. Because right now I have four blocks. I have a pair, a potential chi with the four, six, eight, and then I have two chi's already made. Okay, there's a four. Okay, good. Now I I discarded quickly because. I want to see what I have here. So I'm not quite ready to reach, but I, if I can draw a five crack, I can reach and discard six within six discards. So let's see if we can do it. We need a five crack or a three bam, six bam. Okay, no, this is concealed. Two crack. I'm gonna get rid of this eight crack. Okay, I need a five crack, three bam, or six bam to be ready to win. Four characters. Are you, um, Nina, were you talking about that Chinitsu one suit hand? Five that was a pretty hand. Oh, that was the tile I really wanted. I'm going to get rid of that two that two crack because now I have two side weights. Do you see this here? Five six, characters. seven, that's called a side weight. So I have two strong two weights now. I need one of four tiles to be ready to win. I'm gonna pass. Three dot, that's not gonna be helpful. I'll, I'll keep it though, because it does give me a little bit of flexibility with the five, although I'm set here. I just need one more tile to be ready to win. I did not reach 10 pi and six discards, but I'm one away. One away from 10 pi, for, which for me is pretty good. Two bam, bummer. I'm gonna get rid of that. because. Either way, I need a three bam or a six bam, so it's six one half dozen the other. Plus, if I had kept this two bam and thrown the five, I would have been left with that what's called a closed weight, where you need the tile in the middle to complete the chi. That is weak. So it's really important to watch your discards um, because if you discard a tile and later in the game, your hand changes to the point where you need a tile you discarded, you cannot win with a, by discard. That's called Furiten. And it, you have to draw your winning tile if, in fact, you earlier discarded your winning tile. So you have to be very mindful of your, of your discards. Okay, there's the second five crack. I did not want to see that. I want to draw that five crack. But now, though, oh, like here, for example, my eight crack. So I have a six, seven. I could be Furyton. I need to draw an eight crack. Okay, there's a two crack. I need to draw an eight crack, otherwise I'll be Furyton because I have an eight crack in my discard pile. So this is going to be um, tight. I probably should have thought that through a little more when I threw away that four crack. I should have kept the. F I should have probably kept that four crack and thrown the seven because I have that eight crack out there. Um, let's see how many Seven eight cracks are out. There are three eight cracks out right now. I hope I draw it. North wind. Six bamboo. Pass. Uh oh, white dragon. That's a fresh tile. Nobody wanted it. Woo! Oh, there's the last eight crack. Well, that's kind of good though. Because now I need, oh, there's only one more five crack. Okay, this is, I'm kind of in a corner right now. Two bamboos. Hmm. Okay, I did pick up a pair with this five bam, but I already have a pair with my three, and I have a two four out there already. So I, I need to keep that three four crack bamboos. as my pair because I would be Fury Tin. I'm gonna get rid of the five. I also have a two, three out there, so I need to discard this one. I can't use the one. So um, yeah, I am, I would love to get ready here. Three dots. I'm gonna discard that. 
nine crack, no nine cracks are out, and I have two more picks. If I if I'm ready, oh no. Five characters. Okay, I think that was my last potential. I'm gonna throw the nine bam. That's a safe tile unless someone nine takes it for a G. Just because there's a pwn out doesn't mean it's a safe tile because the player on your right could take it for a chi. Okay, I need a safe, I need a safe disc. Oh, okay, good, we're done. Nobody won. Uh, actually, somebody was ready to win. If you are ready to win, you get a thousand um, payment from the other players. So um, I'm not ready to win. It almost looked like I got a win. Oh, well, anyway, moving on. Any players at the table who are ready to win and it's a wall game, they get a thousand payment from any player who's not ready to win. That's called either 10 pi for whoever's ready or no 10 for, for whoever's not ready. So the no 10 players pay the 10 pi players a, a penalty. All right, here we have uh, north is the door indicator. The wind progression is north or eat soup with nuts east, south, west, north. So it goes from north back to east. So east is Dora. Um, I, have, I have four honors. They're all singles. As single honors, there's, there's nothing you can do with them with one exception. Um, it's, a, it's a Yakuman hand, which is one of, uh, the, one of the highest scoring hands you can get uh, called Angels. I'm going to discard the three bam, I guess. I'm kind of not sure what I'm going to do here. I have four discards to play Pinfu, which is all cheese, which I do have chi potential in here. I have a chi right here, seven, eight, nine. Here's a four, five potential with a side weight. I have a two, three potential with a side weight and a seven, nine potential with a closed weight. So there's one weak weight in here. And then I have all these honors that are singles. So those are not going to help me with anything. If I draw a number tile, I'm going to get rid of them. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of, oh, I hate getting rid of honors. I love honors. My favorite Yaku is a half flesh. I think that's because I, I play Wright Patterson style and there are a lot of hash, half flesh hands and I, I find them simple to do. Okay. So uh, switching to uh, all numbers is it was an okay thing to do, although I have a three bam out there. At the time, I was thinking if I drew more dots or paired up my honors, I could have played Honitsu, which is a half flesh. Uh, half flesh is one suit with winds and dragons, um, but the winds and dragons were not coming in, and I kept getting numbered tiles, so now I'm switched back to Pinfu, which is not good. You don't want to waver like that. That was a bad. That was my bad. So this is why I like to play online because I can practice. I can practice my decision making. I can make uh, mistakes and recover. And you know, since I'm playing online, I kind of save face, except for the fact that I'm recording this for everybody in the world to see. So yeah, that's how I roll. So anyway, it uh, looks like we have one isolated tile at the moment. We do have a pair, which would leave an isolated tile. I have three nines. Seven uh, I'm going to get rid of the nine dot. Oh, I don't know if I should have done that. Now I have two pair. This is where, when, when I start pairing up, uh, I'm not taking that. I only have two pair. I'm going to try, I'm going to still try to do uh, Pinfu. And if I draw a six BAM, yeah, no, I, I don't think I'm going to go for all simples because I need a six BAM to complete the four five over here. So if I, if I throw the nine, I'm going to need a six and I already need a six. That means I need two sixes. So I'm not going to try for Tanya this time. I'm going to keep my nines and I probably should have kept that nine but I didn't really think it through. Okay, there's um, a pwn of six bams, and that's kind of what I needed. Although here I can maybe get a three bam in there. We'll see how this goes, I don't know. Four bamboos. Okay, I got the three bam, so I discarded the nine crack. So now we have a three, four, five, a seven, eight, nine. Here's a potential chi, and I have two pair. I need one more chi in here. 
I'll get rid of that. If I can draw a one dot or a four dot, we're ready to win. And that was the seventh discard, so I didn't make ten pi in six discards again. I'm trying though. Okay, so we need a one dot, four dot. Yeah, that's what we needed to draw. Nine crack, that's a discard. So you can see over here to my left, the player to my left, east, they have a pawn, and the tile is here on the right is turned to the side. That means I discarded it. So that is one of my discards, and if I um, end up needing a nine crack to win, I would be Fuditen. I'm going to throw, oh, I'm going to throw the four. Four bamboos. Okay. So uh, you really want to watch your discards and also pay attention to the discards that are, are, are the exposures because I'm also, um, you know, um, locked in. I'm going to get rid of the nine bam. Um, this player on my right, I threw that six bam. So the nine crack and the six bam, I need to stay away from as far as my weights because those would make me fjordyton. Okay, there's a six dot. I'm going to throw the seven, seven dot because I already have a pair. So mm. here, okay, that, that maybe wasn't the best thing to do um, because the five dot, there's only one out, but there are three eight dots out. I'm not sure if that was the best thing, but this is a side weight. Okay, I'm going to reach. I got the five dot. So now I have four, I have one, three, four, five is a chi, seven, eight, nine is a chi, five, six, seven is a chi, and I have my pair. This four, five crack, that is a side weight, and I'm waiting on either a three crack or a six crack. Unfortunately, the player to my right got there faster than me. But I did make 10 pi. Um, did they, okay, so that was the end of the game, and I ended up getting first place. At the end of the game, there's a UMA bonus, which you basically pay pays, um, I think the winner gets extra points. So I ended up with 28,000 points. And you know what? I just realized I'm kind of low on dragon coins. I wonder how many, okay, I just got 1,200 dragon coins. I forgot, I need to buy more, more coins. I only have 3,000 coins. <laughs> I better win some more because I need more coins. Okay, let's join this table. Okay, so I hope you all get an idea of how to play Ricci. I know that it's very fast paced. So when this um, repost goes up, watch it again. And hopefully the more you watch or the more you play, the, the more and more it will make sense. But it is very fast paced especially compared to American style. I think it's very fast paced. You have to really be on your toes, especially um, because of the Fjordyton rule, where uh, whatever you discard, you, you cannot win by discard if you discard that tile and you need it. That, that's, you can get into trouble there. And speaking of which, um, if you make a mistake, like trying to win and you're Fjordyton, you've thrown a tile later in the game, you're ready to win on that tile and you try to win by Roan, which is win by discard, you get a Chombo. A Chombo is a spank. You get spanked and it's a penalty. You get, you get dinged by that and it ends the game. So uh, that's one way to Chombo. You don't wanna do that. Okay, so Jan, you're loving it. I love it. I love this game too. It is a lot of fun and it's, um, like I say, it's complex, but flexible and strategic. So uh, I really, really enjoy playing it. I'm very, um, I, I find it very challenging. <coughs> okay. So while we are waiting for another player, I want to share the different things that I personally am working on. I'm calling, I call these waypoints. These are my, these are my, um, the things that I'm trying to focus on. Speed to 10 pi, where I'm trying to be ready to win in six discards. The value of the hand, I want to try to get Mongon or better, or really four Han. I wouldn't mind getting four Han or better. Um, okay, let me, let me see what we got here. Okay, I have a pair of dragons. I'm not throwing that. 
I have okay I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the three dot because I also have a pair of six cracks and I have terminals I'm kind of thinking even though I only have two pair I'm thinking either all honors and terminals which is called I think it's called honor row two yeah honor row two I'm gonna throw that I'm gonna I'm gonna see what happens here um, so I want to try to get four honor better if I can and then I want to focus on my weights again the side weight is the best weight if it's for a number tile so the other things I'm trying to focus on are um, when okay I'm gonna keep that when um, when when there's a Ricci on the table and it's not me somebody else my one of my opponents has reached there are times when you want to fall back and play defense versus pushing to win and that's another thing I'm trying to work on is I want to learn when to push and when to switch to defense and let's see yeah that's that's pretty much what I'm focused on I guess those are four or five things four things reach judgment strength of the weight value of the hand and speed to 10 pi those are my waypoints and I got all those from Dana Chiba's uh, strategy primer so if you if you look at that primer um, all those ideas are documented there and would be helpful for any new or intermediate player um, to improve their game so check that out look below the video for that link you could download that PDF and um, learn about reach and also uh, better your game if you already know how to play so we just had um, six discards and I am clearly not ready to win I have a long way to go I would love to play uh, 13 orphans uh, look I, I have uh, four discards including a pair I'm gonna try to force it I, I know that's probably uh, cringe worthy if anybody um, cringed write pound cringe in chat but I'm gonna try to do 13 orphans there's I need to get a white dragon though because there's three out 13 orphans is one in nine of each suit one of each of the winds and dragons and any tile paired that's 13 orphans I need that white dragon badly oh my gosh and there's uh, all three red dragons are out there's one more red and one more white I probably should have uh, looked at that first before I declared that but I'll still push it if I pair up I could switch to all pwn okay so I'm just gonna probably go ahead and play defense although I do have three pair at this stage I may go ahead and forego the uh, 13 orphan idea and and switch to all pwn I have three pair if I get one more pair they'll oh look I got the white dragon oh my goodness if I get that red dragon I'm gonna keep going I, I have three discards for 13 orphans if okay four bam we don't want okay again 13 orphans one and nine of each suit one of each wind and dragon one uh, any tile paired there's three east winds out though and somebody else just reached I'm gonna pwn it I'm gonna switch okay now west nine I'll throw the nine we're gonna just play all pwn and play strategy at this point try not to throw the winning the winning tile here these are all fresh there's a one I'll throw that these are all fresh tiles right here not all these ones and nines they're all fresh oh six con that's a four of a kind five bam I'll throw that hopefully oh gosh this is where it gets a little stressful there's two reach players at the table at the moment eight bam there's an eight bam out I'll throw that oh oh my goodness okay these these tiles right here are really scary tiles they have not been thrown yet the nine crack is the Dora indicator I'm the only player who has not reached I'm gonna throw the one crack okay nine uh, one bam one bam nine crack that's the door indicator uh-oh 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 there it is I had to throw it that was my least likely tile for Han that was painful okay so now 
we go into the next game and try to recover. All right, so what do you think about Ricci? Let me know what you guys think about the game. We've been playing for an hour, so we'll, we'll go till nine. We'll probably get to play uh, maybe one or two more rounds. So I'm negative 800, 8,000 points right now. Okay, I'm gonna play, um, oh, red, white, green, white, red, white, green, red. Red dragon is Dora. So I have the Dora tile in my hand right now. I'm going to try for, let's see. I do have all the ones. I was thinking maybe, maybe I could play mixed triple chi, but it's a long shot because I have no twos. I think, um, I'll throw the four bam, maybe cracks, all cracks. Honitsu. This is going to be a challenge though because all these honors are singles. Those are not going to help until I pair them up. So I'm thinking half flesh, also called Honitsu. Okay, now I'm I'm going to chi. Four, five, six. I probably should have child three, four, five. I don't know because now I have an isolated eight. I do feel kind of rushed when I play Ricci especially because look here's a black belt and I'm a green belt I'm I'm like the baby of the table right now okay I need more cracks yeah this is looking pretty anemic right now I would not recommend going this route but I have Dora and I want to try to pair up and use it oh you're welcome Nina okay we're trying to do a half flesh Hon Itsu is what it's called. I, I hope I pronounced that right. Nine bamboos. Chi. Oh, chi. East wind. We need cracks. Oh, oh no. There's a pone. Pone of the wind of the realm. That's a yaku right there. Nine bamboos. We need cracks and honors. Okay, I'm going to chi. Oh, pones take precedence over cheese. I wanted it for a chi, but they took it for a pone, which is unfortunate for me because now there's only one more two left. If somebody else discards that besides this player to my left, then my one is really worthless. Let's see. Oh, I got the two. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we got a one, two, three. So I, I have a pair of Souths here. That is not my seat, and that is not the wind of the round, but it will help me get to a half flush, maybe. I, I have a lot of work to do still. I have four isolated tiles, which is not good. Oh, there's a green dragon. But the, there's a, the Dora indicator is a green dragon. You always want to keep that in mind. There's only four of every tile. So really, there's only three, uh, dra red, uh, three green dragons available right now. One has been discarded, so there's only one more left. Potentially, that could be my pair. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and discard it, though. The chances of me getting that for a pair are pretty slim. Okay, so I have a pair of three cracks now. There's one more, uh, there's one three crack out. I would love to get that three crack. I'd love to draw the three crack because then I could have a chi and a, pon and a pair. Oh, look, we got the red dragon. We could pwn that. Seven characters. Okay, I would love to pwn that red dragon. Oh, shoot. Okay, what'd they get? Oh, one Han, that's affordable. All right, here we go, next hand. It goes pretty fast, doesn't it? Does anybody have any questions about four sets in a pair? If you do, write it in the comment section. All right, now for this one, we have four honors. We have all three dragons, four discards to get to a half flesh. That's what I'm gonna do. For me, that is an okay guideline for me. I don't know what anybody else um, thinks about, uh, you know, that idea. Um, people who are intermediate or advanced at this game, I'm going to throw the seven. I think um, if I have four discards towards any Yaku, 
to me that's doable. I mean, obviously you'd want to have fewer discards, but four max, that kind of helps. That's like an indicator for me. So, um, or a litmus test. I, oh, there's a seven dot. <laughs> okay, a litmus test. So I'm gonna try for Honitsu again, my favorite. My favorite, not because it's my favorite, but because I only have four discards to get to it. I need to pair up though. Okay, there's a five crack, so that's gonna be helpful. There's a chi, three, four, five. I could maybe pwn the sixes. I need to pair up these dragons and the wind badly. One dot. Two dots. Hmm. Eight characters. Okay. Uh, Jan, it seems like keeping up with scoring could be a challenge in the game with people. That would be an advantage of people online. Oh, scoring because the game does the scoring for you. Um, it's Scoring is not hard, though. I have it on this player reference right here. So if you, oh my goodness, I can't reach my, oh my gosh. I almost didn't get there in time. Uh, but anyway, if you just have that, that uh, player reference and take it with you when you play, it's not hard. Um, if you try to score by yourself without a reference, yes, it would be hard um, because there are a lot of numbers involved. Um, but if you just use a little cheat sheet with scoring on it, I, I don't think anybody frowns upon that. I'm an opponent. So there's my Yaku. That, that is a qualifying Yaku. And you're, you have to get at least one thing on this card. You see this? You have to get one scoring element called a Yaku in order to qualify to win. So that, that red dragon is, is a qualifier. That's a Yaku. So now I just need to work on the other components of my hand and get there faster than anybody else. I have a chi and a pair. The pair is a potential pwn, and then I have four isolated tiles, which is not good. It looks pretty, but I have a ways to go, and we are now at uh, eight discards. So obviously, okay, now I made it to Honitsu in eight discards, which may or may not be a good thing because I have single tiles. These will do me no good until I pair them up. Once they're paired up, okay, once they are paired up, uh, then you can potentially pwn, which is a three of a kind. This east is a discard. There are, there's a pwn over here. So this east is a safe discard and I can't use it. I'll just discard it. It looks like the player to my right is playing all pwn. It looks like the player to my left is playing all pwn. I would love cracks or pair up my, my dragons. Oh, shoot. I do not want to throw away the winning tile. All pwn is two Han. And right now they have, it looks just like that's it. All pwn. Oh, look, we paired up. Uh oh, okay. All right, so there are no white dragons out and there are, are no Norths out right now. There are three nine cracks out, so I'll throw that next. Oh, there's a five. There are two five bams. That's a good one, I hope. Oh, whew. Um, the nine crack is, is a good discard. There are three out, and I know they're not going to chi off of me. They have pawns out. If they cheat, it would wreck their score. I'm going to throw that. There are no eight dots out. Someone's, someone's holding eight dots. We have one, two, three more picks. If my pwn tiles go down, I'm going to take it. Okay, that north was a good discard. Nobody took it. Seven bamboos. I got I got a pwn of dragons. I would love to at least make it to tenpai, but I don't know. I'm going to have to throw this eight dot, and I think it's somebody's tile. Somebody's holding eight dots. There are none out. And I'm playing Honitsu, which is, I think, two, is Honitsu two Han, and I have two pawns of dragons. I'm throwing it. Eight dots. I think someone's going to, yep, there it is. 
but I was playing a big hand. I was playing Honitsu, which is two Han. I had two pawns of dragons, that's four. I guess I had four Han. I probably should not have done that. Live and learn. That probably is an example of what not to do. Okay, so they had two Han, um, and now I am the big loser at the table at the moment. So we need a recovery hand. Let's see if we have a good, something good here. We've got four discards towards Honitsu again. Is it Honitsu? 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 I don't know how you pronounce it. But we're in the exact same predicament. We have single honors and chi potential. I have two potential chis, one, two, and three, four. The, there is a one, two, three, but if you break it up, you can have m multiple potential chis. So I have a one, two as a potential chi. I'm, I am not going to pwn that because I want to use it as chi, potential chis. Like I have a two, three, four right there. So I don't want to pwn that in this particular case. And it's my only pair. One bamboo. If I had more pairs, I probably would have pwned that. Yeah, I'm gonna throw the eight. eight <coughs> so we're gonna get rid of these nine, um, nine. these bams. And I wanna get rid of them nine. right away, especially the seven, eight, because nine bam is Dora. I hope I don't draw it. Five characters. Three, four, five. I'm going to pass on that. We'll get rid of that eight bam. Okay, so I that was a good choice because I drew an eight crack. So I took the chance at picking instead of taking an exp a tile for an exposure, and it paid off. So now that I will chi. I'm going to go ahead and expose because now by chiing that, I'm left with a chi and a, and a pair that could be a pawn. Not now, not. my my danger zone here are these single honors. I need, I'm going to pwn that. So I need to pair up these honors here. Okay, that was my sixth discard, and I'm not ready to win yet. So I did not make 10 pie and six discards. That's okay, though. It's just a goal. It's not like a terrible thing. It's just a, a kind of a, a guideline, a goal. There's a west. I'll get rid of that. So now we're back to having a pair, and we have a potential chi with the 3-4. Uh, okay, we have a reach now. So now I need to be cognizant of what is in their discard pile. I need to, to decide if I want to push to win or if I want to fold and play defense. There's a south out. I could probably... Okay, 8-bam. Maybe I could throw that. Okay, whew. All right, so we'll just keep an eye on the discards because anytime somebody discards, that latest discard is called f temporary fruititin, and they can't win on a, t on a okay, nine bam north. So I'll throw the south. Oh, man, that's scary because only one of those were out. Okay, so I have all fresh tiles here. No, this green dragon, there's a green dragon out, um, although they could have a pair of green dragons for all I know. North wind. Oh, west. That's a good west tile. Wind. You see that they have a west wind in their Six, discard eight, pile? That was a completely safe tile to throw because they cannot win nine, by discard on that tile because it's in their pile. White dragon. Okay, let's throw the, the dragon. dragon. Okay, now if we can pair up this north or east, we'll be ready to win too. North or east, the north. I'm going to throw eight. the north next. That this player to my right will not be able to win with that north. Okay, so we're getting there. We need a pair. We need to pair up either the five crack or the east. Five dots. Or I could pwn pwn the two crack. No, let's see what's out here. Oh, nine bam. That's a good discard. Let's see two crack. There's two two cracks out, so that's got to be my pair. Five dots. Let's see. There's one five crack out too. So. And I have two. There's only one more five crack left. South is a good discard. South win. Nine characters. We have one, Eastern. two, three, four, five more picks. And I have one one discard ish. Seven characters. Eight dots Eight should be dots. good. Eight dots. 
seven characters. I would love to draw that last five crack. Although I'm kind of in a pickle because all my tiles are out. Red dragon, that's a safe discard because there's a pwn of red dragons out. There's only four of everything, so that was a safe tile. Seven bamboos. The east, there's three. Six this characters. east, I'm going to chi that and throw the east. east wind. And I'm wind ready to win on a five crack. I made ten pie. Oh, no, no, I need a four crack. Seven. Sorry. There's one more four crack left. One dot. That's a safe tile. We have two more picks, and I'm ready to Six win. Characters. So if nothing else, I made it to ten pi. Five if someone throws the four crack, I could win. There's only one more left. Uh oh. Oh, that's a safe discard. Four Thank goodness. Four okay, four. One more. One more chance at winning with a four crack. Four oh. All right. So two, let's see here, exhaustive draw. So I did get a bonus or I got a, um, I got a thousand points from the no 10 players because I was 10 pi. Does that make sense? No 10, the people who didn't win pay 10 pi. The people who were ready to win 1,000 each for a total of 3,000 per table. So basically each no 10 player pays that penalty okay we have oh we have a pair of east and it is the we the east round i'm thinking all pwn it's okay to mix um suits when you're playing all pwn i'm gonna get rid of the two, two because um we do have two dora the eight dots One is two. dora so that that's two han right there i have three pair i really need two more pair and we're going to be set for all pwn all three of a kind that and, and again it's okay to mix suits with all three of a kind i'm just going to go ahead and get rid of some of these outlying tiles now the seven dot it hasn't been discarded but it is the dora indicator so there's only two more left so i'm going to discard that next nine characters so there that goes so i just want to basically keep tiles that are going to give me the greatest opportunity to pair up because once you have a pair, that's a potential pwn. East wind. Pwn. Okay, so now let's get rid of the nine crack. That's been discarded. Nine. Okay, hi, Peg. Yes, of course, I come in when you're speaking another language. <laughs> I'm speaking Ricci language. West wind. Oh, red dragon. Let's get rid of that. Oh, goodness. We got a pair of dragons. Very nice. Okay, there's two two cracks out, so that'll be my next discard. We're ready to pwn, baby. We are ready to pwn. All right, there are no three crack, seven crack, four dot, no seven dot. These are all fresh tiles. So I just need to, maybe that's where luck comes in because we still need a pair. There's a four crack. Now, four crack. There's a four crack out in a chi, so I'll probably go ahead and get rid of that. I think I'll go ahead and even get rid of the seven crack. Oh, okay, so they're they're mixing suits. They have their seat wind, a pwn of their seat wind, and that's their yaku right now. Okay, we got our pair right there. So now these can go away. So these this four seven can go away because now I'm I'm paired up, I'm ready to pwn. Um, so we're on an eighth discard. I didn't make ten pi but we're ready seven we're ready to pwn we just got to get there before anybody else now i don't know if i'm going to get this eight dot as a pwn because people are if anybody has it they're going to try to use it i'll get rid of the white dragon there this two dot i threw away earlier so i need to get rid of that not that i'm going to use it anyway i'm okay we got to reach at the table so now I need to decide, do I want to fold or do I want to push to win? Since I have the wind of the round in a pwn and I have a potential dragon pwn and all pwn, I'm going to try to win. Green dragon. Nine bam's been thrown. Nine bamboo, one dot. 
I'm going to throw, uh, let's see, the two dot. I'm probably going to throw this two dot next. There's part of our pwn. We got a pwn. We need a pwn. Four characters. That was an early reach. They reached in th in six discards. That's really good. Okay, six and four. These are both fresh tiles. Four dots. Whew. Oh my goodness. Oh, ro no, that's pwn. I almost roamed. Okay, I'm gonna discard. I hope they don't need. Okay, good. Oh wait. Oh shoot. That that was my winning. Oh shoot. I screwed up. I'm going to discard that. I screwed up. That was Roan. I was ready to win. I just threw away a win. Um, and I just threw away a seven crack. Okay, I screwed that up big time. I was all f focused on talking, and I threw away a win. My bad. I need to draw the last seven crack. Or switch it out. Oh, what happened? Did I chombo? Why did it throw that so quickly? Oh, I passed up a Roan. I wonder if that's Cha if that is a Furitan. I'm gonna throw the seven because I'm Furitan right now because all the sevens are out and I passed up my my Roan tile. So I need to draw a red drag or a green dragon to recover. Yeah, this is a mess. I made a mess out of this one. This was this was a really nice opportunity and I messed it up, which is why I like to practice. Let's see if we can recover. Seven bamboos. I need, I need a, oh, bummer. Okay, yeah, I screwed that one up. I, I passed up a roan. That could have been mine. Oof. Live and learn again. Okay, look at my score. Oh, good. It's over. Oh, that was painful. Okay. Let me, I just need to breathe for a second. All right, so let me know what you guys thought about that. Uh, did you cringe? I did, I cringed. All right, let's go one more time. We'll play one more round. Oh, let's join this one then. The game, the game kind of tricks you, and I think I, I was skeptical when I saw that Roan because my six bams were way over there. I saw Roan and I thought, I'm not ready to win yet. And so I pwned, but I should have roaned. And I think that that was my problem. I got flustered. <laughs> yes, yes, I could not hear you, Jan. I'm very sad. But that would have been a nice win because I had a pwn of red, pwn of east, all pwn. Um, so that would be um, one, two, that would have been four han. Wait. Pone of Dragon, Pone of East, all Pone. Yeah, that would have been four Han. It wasn't a Mongon, but it would have gotten me out of the hole, I think. Let me see. How much would a Roan with four Han be? A Roan with four Han. Oh, I don't know. Let me see. What was my score? Pone of Terminals, 16 and 16 is 32. I could have had Mongon rounded up. Yeah, that was my bad, big time. All right, well, I, I just need to slow down, I think. I, I don't know, you know, everybody everybody picks and discards so quickly. I feel like I have to also. And then there's a timer on, and so I feel pressured to discard. I need to slow down. That's what I need to do. I need to take my time. You are allotted time, so take it. That's my lesson learned. If you can make a mistake and learn from your lessons, then it's a bonus. So yeah, that's my lesson learned. And you can learn from my mistakes. That's why I do these videos. So we're just gonna wait for some players here. Uh, does anybody have any questions about Ricci? Hopefully we'll get more players. We have time for one more round. We'll play till, till nine. Okay, we have one player there. Um, we need one more player and then we'll try again. And I'm going to take my time this time. I'm not going to go fast. I'm going to take my time. When it starts beeping at me, then I'll speed it up. But I'm going to take the time allotted me. Hopefully I won't make an, another mistake like that. That was terrible. 
We need another player. Uh, let's see. Peg says, I think it's amazing that you can play and teach at the same time. Well, that's sometimes I get in, I, I get um, uh, distracted by that too. And when I'm by myself, I, I don't have that additional focus, you know, where I'm co doing commentary and playing and trying to better my game all at the same time. It is a lot to manage, but I can do it um, in that particular game. Um, I'm not, I think I was talking at the time. So yeah, I was definitely distracted. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens, but thankfully, um, you know, it's a game and there are no lives at stake. So if I make a mistake, that's okay. I mean, I'd rather not make a mistake, but I'm okay with that. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can do better this time. So we have one honor. So I'm going to play Pinfu. Um, red, white, green is the um, progression. So red, white, green, back to red. So red dragon is Dora. But here we have six, seven, eight, potential cheese, an isolated nine, a chi and a potential cheese. So yeah, this is not bad. We're gonna play pin foo and I'm gonna I'm gonna do go the quickest route. Okay, gonna throw that. Green dragon. So we have a pair of eights, seven, eight, nine. I need chi I need another seven dot to break this out. Another seven dot. Um or okay. I'll, I'll throw the nine crack. Nine all right. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do Tanyao. Tanyao, again, is all simples, two through eight. I have too many terminals, which are the ones and nines. I have too many to get rid of for Tanyao. So I'm just going to focus on uh, cheese, potential cheese. And I'm, of course, going to get rid of any honors. Well, thank you, guys. I, I appreciate your support. And that you're not like disciplining me for messing up <laughs> all right okay four bam that's that's a potential keeper because now i have two potential cheese if you take the one two three and kind of break it out i have a one two is a potential chi and a three four that is a potential chi i do have a pair of sixes and a seven eight nine if i can get a five dot Let's see, one, two, four, I don't know, we'll see. There's potential in here though. Three bam, no, this is concealed. One dot, we have, uh, I'm gonna get rid of, I'm gonna get rid of the one. I gotta stay mixed suit with the greatest chi potential here and that one dot was isolated. So that goes away. So if I can get two seven dots, that would be ideal. <laughs> Because then I would have a pure double chi. A pure double chi is the same six, chi seven. in the it is two chi's in the same suit. So here I have a six seven eight. I, if I get another seven dot, then I could do another six seven eight. If I get the third seven dot, I could have a seven eight nine chi. Oh, there's pair. Let's get rid of the one. one you got to have a pair. So now I have a one two three chi, a pair of fours. Here's a six, seven, eight. Um, I have too many pair in here. Um, for example, if I can get a seven dot, I can throw away the two crack. I need two seven dots basically at this point. I'm gonna throw the two crack. So you have to plan your own hand and improve the shape of your own hand while watching the discards and the players at the table, especially if you have a, a Ricci opponent. So there's a there's a Ricci there. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of an eight. Eight dots. Because I have another potential chi here. Here's another p a potential pure double chi right there, a two bam. And there's two two bams out though, there's only one more. I have two potential pure double cheese at the moment. I'm gonna get rid of the south. So I have a one, two, three in BAMs, a one, three in BAMs. I have a six, seven, eight in dots and a six, eight. 
So I have a twice pure double cheese, what that's called. Okay, I'm going to pass. Twice pure double chi is called Ryan Piku, something like that. And that is two, uh, that's three Han actually, three Han for that. If I can get, if I can get a seven dot or a two bam, I could reach. There's one seven dot out. There's two two bams out. I need a seven dot or a two bam to reach at the moment. Uh, nine bam's a good discard. I need a two bam or a seven dot to reach. The nine dot is my discard. The nine dot, okay, that's a pass. Okay, so yeah, that's not good. Uh, okay, that's an okay discard. So the the last two just went down. So my twice my twice pure double chi is gone. I think I might switch to. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the nine, the nine dot. I probably should switch to defense at this point. Here's a five, six, seven, a pair of fours, pair of eights. Seven characters. I six probably, stars. okay, I'll pwn it. I don't know if this is the right thing to do here. Seven dot. Seven dot. I'm switching, switching Eight. to pawns. Pwn. Okay. Uh, two. That was a good discard two there. Bamboos. So I just, I just need to pwn these if I can. This five dot I'm worried about, there are none out. Four cracks, a good discard. I would love to reach ten pi if I can. Oh, they won. Cheese and simples. All simples. They didn't, oh yeah, they have a pwn in there. They have three pwns in there. Okay. All right, well... I, I felt good about that. Even though I didn't win, I, I actually feel good about that because I, I was ready to, I was one tile away from twice pure double chi, which is a really nice Yaku. And um, it went dead and then I switched to all pwn and got one away. So I feel good about that. All right, now we have one honor. I'm gonna throw it. We do have two pair though. One bamboo. I I am not gonna pwn that. If I had more pair, I would pwn it. But we're we do have some isolated tiles too here. But there's a chi in here. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the one. Okay, so we do have chi potential. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try for Tanya, which is all simples. No, no, no. I have a pair of ones. Never mind. I'm gonna try for Pinfu. I'll probably get rid of this six crack. It's isolated. We'll get rid of that. Green dragon. So I would like to draw a two bam so we could split out these pairs. A two bam would be really nice. Two two bams would be perfect because then I would have a pure double chi. One, two, three, one, two, three, and bams. One character. Yeah, we don't want that. West wind. So I'm looking for all three in a sequence here. We do have a six, seven, eight, a one, three potential chi, and a four, five, or four, six potential. Those potential chis though have uh, side weight or closed weights, which are not good. And you know what? Now I have three pair. If I get one more pair, I can switch to. Oh, look at that! I just have a pwn. A pwn. I just got a pwn or a potential chi here. We only have four dots left. Maybe we could try for Hon Itsu and Pwn and Chi. I'm gonna Pwn it, because we do have Chi potential in there. I can Pwn the four, Pwn the one, Chi the four, six, and be ready on a nine. That's my vision for the hand. It may or may not happen, but that's kind of where my mind goes. I kind of see where the hand can go. Whether or not it ends up there, I'm not sure. I, I can stay flexible along the way, but I like to envision where it could go. Anticipate, I can kind of, I anticipate where it can go and that may or may not be a good strategy, but that's just the way my mind works. So there's two nine bams out. I need either a nine bam to pair up 
or some chi potential in there. Now this north, I need to discard. I need to discard that north because it's in my discard pile and it's a safe tile. The player to my right reached, so I need to be aware of that. This north is a good discard. Oh, look, I paired up the nine. There are two out, so that probably is going to be my pair. I need to discard the seven dot. There are none out. Oh, the three's good. I'll throw the three dot next. The four dot is also good. Four dot. So I can, th the three dot is a safe tile. The seven dot is a danger zone at the moment. Nine characters. That's a safe tile. The east should be pretty safe. There are two out right now. So that, that'll be a good discard, I think. Three characters. Nine dots. East okay, the two dot, characters. there are no two dots out. They threw away a one dot, a three dot. I'm hoping they don't need a two dot. Three characters. Oh, nine dot is a good nine discard. Dot. Okay, we'll just inch along. I'm hoping someone throws a seven dot. Okay, none of these are out. I gotta throw Two one. Dots. Uh oh, shoot. Oh, yes. there it is. I thought that was gonna be safe. I mean, you never know. They're concealed, so it's a challenge. They threw away a one and a three, so I thought maybe I could get away with throwing the two, but they, they had a four three waiting on a two. So yeah, that was not good. That, those are some of the things I still have to learn. And there's a name for that. I think it's called Suji, where you look at what they discard and there's a um, there's kind of a formula that you follow that I'm not gonna go into here because it's kind of complicated. Well, it's complicated to explain. I can envision it in my mind. Okay, so east, south, west, north. Eat, eat soup with nuts, south is Dora. Um, since I only have two honors, I'm going to play Pinfu again. And I am not going to try for Tanyao, which again is all simples, all two through eight. I have too many terminals. I have one, I have four terminals. As a matter of fact, if, if it goes well, maybe I could play. There's a, there is a Yaku. Well, I'll get rid of that now. There's a Yaku called Terminals in All. There's also something called the outside hand. Outside hand is where you have ones or nines or a wind or dragon in every component of your hand. That's called outside hand. And that is also called Junchan. And then uh, all terminal, no, 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 terminals in all, terminals in all, Chin Rotu or something like that. I will get rid of the nine. nine dots. Okay, so I need to look at chi potential here. Red, red. I have a two, three, four, an eight, nine potential, five, six potential, one, two potential. The six bam, nine bam, those are both isolated. One so we can pass on that. And I don't need that. North wind. So there are there's a lot to eight, learn and um, Download that player reference so you can learn the scoring and the Ricci terminology. It's kind of fun. Yeah, we don't want that. We're concealed. We need to draw. I'm going to throw the nine, nine bam. Bandage. So we have lots of chi potential in here, but only one actual chi at the moment. And that was the sixth discard. Yeah, this probably should be a defense hand. When somebody reaches, I may end up having to go defense. You know, we do have a pure double, uh, a, a pure, no, 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 a mixed triple chi potential in here. I'm going to get rid of the nine. nine because we do have the Eight one, two, three. We have the one, two, bam, one, two, crack, two, three, dot. We have the potential for a uh, mixed triple chi, which is Four called characters. Sanshoku. Um, there are, there's only, no, never mind. Cancel that order. There are four one dots out. Seven dots. So yeah, that's not going to happen. 
I'm going to discard the one crack. We're, mm -hmm. we're kind of heading into um, into all simples. Tanya, I only have one more ban, just the way it worked okay. out here. We've got lots of chi potential in here. It, the two crack is isolated. I may sacrifice the one, maybe. Six bamboo. That was in my discard pile. So we have one chi, two, three, four. All the rest are potential. But we do have two side weights, three side weights in here, or which is really good. Those are those are all strong weights. That's a pass. We're concealed. One cracks in my discard pile. One character. Nine bamboos. We need some kind of, we need filler tiles for these potential cheese. A five dot would be really nice because that would leave me all with uh, side weights. Okay, now we have a reach. East, one, I'm throwing the one. That was in their discard pile, so that was a safe discard. There is an east out, but it was discarded before this player reached. Uh, but it was two discards away from the moment they reached. No, 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 more than that. Three crack. I'm going to throw the east. Okay, that was nice, huh? Okay, still cheap potential here. I need to look forward to my discards. Four characters. Four characters. Okay, pass, of course. Okay, white is a good discard. Do you see this, this um, concept where... You've got to look at the discards much more than you do any in other versions because of the Furyton rule. A two bam. I'm going to discard the two bam because I want to try to play defense and still improve my own potential. Although I think mine is not going to happen. I'm pretty. I'm behind the curveball here. At least I didn't throw it. That's one thing I'm happy about. That was a three Han. They got Pinfu, which is all cheese. They reached, which is where you put out a wager saying you're ready to win. And then they got Ura Dora. Ura Dora is the door, the door indicator underneath the other door indicator. And if that tile is in your hand, you get extra score. So they ended up with three Han, which is nice. I mean, any win is a good win, really. Okay, so here we have uh, red, white, green. Red dragon is Dora. We have three pair. I'm going to play all pwn. Three pair mixed suits. So I'm going to try to pair up. I have a lot of single simples. But I have uh, three pair of honors and terminals. So I'm going to pwn. Six characters. Pwn like the wind. Okay, that's that's going to be helpful. Seven bamboos. I'm just going to get rid of my bams first. I don't know why. I just am. Okay, so we need to pair. We need a pair of Wes and a white dragon. That would be ideal if if that's possible. Oh, that's just amazing. Okay, we've got another pair in here. We're ready to pwn. I hope they don't need that. Oh my goodness, that would have been one shot, which is I p nine. Okay, I'm gonna pwn that. Okay, now what do I get rid of? Four characters. Uh oh. Oh please don't. Oh oh my goodness, that hesitation terrifies me. Anytime you get that hesitation, that little <laughs> yellow swirl going that means somebody's thinking about it i'm gonna pwn it okay here we go again all fresh tiles there's no way to know what they need at this early i mean they reached after one discard that's crazy i wish it were me okay that's a good discard oh my goodness they got it Wow, what did they get? Their seat win, probably. South. They got a pwn of their seat win. One Han. One Han. No Dora. They, they should just have one Han. No, three. What'd they get? 
Seat wind, fully concealed, and reach. Oh, reach. Yeah, they got reach. Okay, I give you that. I know you got reach. Oh, wait, are we done? Oh, yeah, I guess we're all done. Okay, so does anybody have any questions uh, about reachy? Write it in the comment section. It's, uh, we have 15, a quarter to nine. We could try to play another one if y'all want to, or we could call it a night. What do you think? If you want me to play another one, I'd be happy to, or we can just call it done. But I need your input. Should we play another one? I forgot to congratulate the winner here. I always put kudos, kudos in there. Okay, I'm hoping that this, is this working? Looks like we have a lag. Let me know if you want to keep going. Thank you for coming by and hanging out with me, playing Mahjong with me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, think about subscribing. Okay, let's see. Jan is going to drop off. Very helpful. Look, uh, going to download all your material. Very good. I'll be end up playing online since no one else I know plays this style. Yep, that's kind of how I do it too, Jan. I think we'll go ahead and end the live stream. So thank you everybody for coming. And I hope you enjoyed the live stream. I always have a good time and I am grateful for all you out there who join me and um, play along with me and comment. Thank you for sharing about my channel and uh, for subscribing. I'm really excited to see how this community grows. I'm loving it so far. I'm just having a great time and I wouldn't be able to do it without you. If you're watching the live stream replay, Thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed the session. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing. Be sure to click that little gray, uh, gray bell when you do, and that way you'll get notification for when I go live or when I post new videos, and you won't miss an opportunity to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next live stream, may all your picks be keepers.